so guys version 18 of react.js just got released with lots of new features and updates like implementation of concurrency and suspense in data frames but i'm going to talk about none of them instead i'm going to talk about this how to upgrade to react 18 so if you want to know how you can upgrade your existing react project to react 18 then you can watch this video so guys they have given this command to upgrade to react 18 in this documentation but this didn't work for me so i'm going to tell you how you can upgrade to react 18 in the right way so guys first let's try their documentation command and see if it works so i'm going to write here npm install react and react dom so guys, as you can see here this doesn't upgrade to react 18 and now i'm going to try another method to upgrade to react 18 which is by including the version number in the installation command and guys you can install react and react dom separately with two commands and you can also install both in one command like this npm install react and react dom and with the version number at the 18.0.0 so guys this command just install the react version 18 and now we'll go to next step which is to start our project to see if our project is still working fine so guys this is my project uh, which is a simple news website and now i'm going to upgrade this to version number 18 of the react so we are going to change the version number here in the package.json and we are going to change the version number of both react and react dom to 18.0.0 and now guys let's open the index.js file and let's change the code to latest version of the react to render our project and instead of directly using the render method we are going to create a root and then render our application so we have to include create root from react dom slash client and now we have to create a variable for the root element on our website and in our case this is the root element and we are going to get it back. and now we have to store our root element in a variable and we have to create a root with the create root function of the react dom and once the root element is created we are going to render our components like app components on that root element with root.render and our component name which is the app component of our application and guys once everything is done we have to restart our project so if you can see here our project is now running fine so guys if you like this video then subscribe to twitter and for more